Hey guys, it's Norm from Tesla.com. I'm here at CES 2013. I'm here with Dan McPhail, one of the co-founders of Liquipel. We saw you guys last year. It was an amazing technology demo. You guys are back with a little bit of an improvement of your technology and some stuff to announce. But for people who don't know what Liquipel is, give me the quick primer on what this bonding process is. Sure, exactly. So what Liquipel is, it's a nano coating that we apply to electronics to prevent water damage. Right, so like, you know, 10 years ago when I would buy like a watch and it would say, you know, water resistant up to 100 meters, that was all right, but smartphones, sweat would destroy iPhones on armbands. And what you guys have is a, a bonding technology, so for something like this iPhone 5, which does not feel any different than the iPhone 5 I have in my pocket, this is water resistant completely. Right. So what is the process that happens for that bonding? So what we do is we, we take your device and, and end consumers can send in your phone to our uh, headquarters in Santa Ana and we can actually do this process for you. But what happens is we take your device, we place it inside of a chamber, um, uh, almost like an oven if you will. We, put, we place it in there, we press the start button. The whole process takes 25 minutes from start to finish, but what happens is we, we actually suck all the air out of this chamber, okay? And then we introduce our Liquipel formulation, which is then circulating around all the devices and being sucked in to all the holes and crevices of the device. So the more holes and cracks you have in a device, the better our, that Liquipel can penetrate the device. And there is no effect on the function of the device. So, for example, this iPhone works as an iPhone, and can we just put this yes. in regular water? It's, it feels so wrong to do. But. It, it is very wrong to do. Now, under the water, you said the capacitive touch won't That's actually right. work. It does not work. We discovered that. And also, sometimes you don't have service underwater, so you can't, can't make a phone call underneath the water. But then once you take this out, which this is crazy, the water just rolls off and you can wipe it down with a paper towel or something. Exactly, yeah, let it dry. Don't charge it for up to 24 hours because that whole phone is waterlogged. There's no case or anything preventing the water from going in. It, it simply just flows through. And I can give you another example on this tissue. If this tissue was your circuit board, okay, this tissue is a normal tissue. It's been treated with Liquipel. You can see what happens if, a solu if, if liquid comes in contact with it. It just rolls right off and not absorbs. This will sit here until it evaporates. Now, that's not, the air won't go through either, though. Like, it that is breathable, oh, yeah. Is. So that's the other thing is that it's not overheating the electronics, oh. which is key. If we we're overheating these, these units, that's a problem. This is breathable. You can still blow through this tissue. That's crazy. So you guys are all in, a, you know, you have a business relationship with cell phone manufacturers. Some people have announced, some haven't. We've seen cell phones, for example, like the Razer Max, and also Sony announced some stuff that have water resistance. Is this going to be the future of waterproofing everything? Absolutely. Um, Liquipel is going to become the norm in electronics because we are all born and raised to know that uh, electronics in general, especially your phone, if it comes in contact with any liquids, it's done. It's going to be ruined. You lose your contacts. You have to go through that big pain. We are going to create a standard here for electronics with Liquipel. You're starting with electronics. Are you guys planning on you know, applying Liquipel? You know, you did it on tissue. The, we work on clothing, jackets, other things? Exactly, yeah. Um, a, a very exciting vertical for us is the medical industry. Uh, bionic knees. Uh, you know, a lot of these, this equipment can't even be in humid conditions. Uh, with Liquipel, all of that's not a problem anymore. So yes, uh, the tissue, as you saw, textiles are, are going to be a big industry, a big vertical for us as well. We're excited to maybe get into some board shorts, some <laughs> swimwear, you know, get out of the pool and still be practically dry. Well, that's very interesting. And you said that service that people now can send in their phones and get their phones protected, an old phone that doesn't have it built in. How much does that cost? It's 60 to $80 roughly uh, to get that done. And yes, you can send it right into our office. Uh, you can go to our website, liquipel.com. That's L-I-Q-U-I-P-E-L.com. And then also you guys have a new retail solution so you don't have to actually mail in a phone. That's something that might pop up at like a T-Mobile store or something. Exactly, yeah. We're getting to the point where you know it's it's tough for our customers to be away with their from their phones sending it into us so what we've done is, is we basically downsized the machinery to accommodate these retail stores um, hopefully if you can't ask for the option to buy a liquipelt phone you'll be able to do it right there at their facility oh that's very cool well 70 80 dollars that's cheaper than a you know a extended warranty on a phone you got it. and i look forward to the day when all phones have this technology built in. Danny, thank you so much. I'm gonna put this in water one more time, is that all right? Please, just so to right. make sure it's real? That's just crazy. Thank you so much. Um, I'm Norm from Tested. We'll have more from CS2013 on Tested.com. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.